Former U.S. President Donald Trump escalated his attacks on China. This comes as relations between the U.S. and China are already strained while addressing the annual Republican gathering CPAC. Trump tested his ability to move the U.S. towards a more confrontational approach on trade with China. And his latest calls didn't spark the outrage it did back in 2016, where Trump pledged to impose a 45 percent tariff on most exports from China, ultimately settling on a 25 percent rate when the tariffs were criticized by economists and opponents. But that didn't stop China. And they responded by hitting America's agricultural exports. According to a study, around 245,000 U.S. jobs were lost as a result of Trump's tariffs. Now, as Trump wishes to return to the Oval Office in Washington, D.C., at the White House, he is expected to double down on the use of the, on the U.S. and China card. Trump's latest proposal includes universal baseline tariffs, phasing out all Chinese imports, 